Hi, this is Ben Raginton from Slice of Sci-Fi. We are at Phoenix Comic Con, and guess what? I'm in Mos Eisley. I'm a total Star Wars nerd, and I'm in Mos Eisley. Could this be any more cooler? Let's see what they've got over here. They've got a recruiting area for the 501st Legion. I can only imagine what kind of soldiers they're looking for. Are they like freedom fighters? Are they stormtroopers? Rebel Alliance? I don't know. Maybe we should come back later and find out. Over here, we have what I think, if you are a Lego nerd, this is the place to come and check out. Because they've got all the Lego Star Wars stuff here. You can see a variety of things, and from Jabba's Palace to Skeleton 3PO and even Skeleton R2. I never knew that happened. All sorts of different fighters and ships. Yoda, even. And one very skimp, a very, very scary looking General Grievous. I wonder if those lightsabers actually turn on. So we've got all sorts of ships here. And this looks to be like a Death Star almost. No? But actually, I don't, actually it is. It isn't. This is the inside of a Death Star. I didn't know it only had four floors. That's new. And then we've got the outside. Oh, watch out, it's firing its weapon. A little Imperial Walker there. And I'm thinking that's supposed to be a Boba Fett. Not entirely sure. He's a little weird looking. And I think probably the crown jewel is this awesome Millennium Falcon. This must have taken, well, it says it's got. It was uh, 5,195 pieces. It took them 30 to 40 hours to build this thing. Dedication. That's some serious nerd cred right there. And over here, we are clearly at the Moss Eisley Station, Millennium Falcon. It is a piece of junk. And we got Greed out here. Ooh, I wonder. Yes. Greedo did fire first. And then lastly, we got we had the Cantina Band. Apparently, they actually go on tour. Live shows daily. And then an actual Cantina. I have a feeling they actually do serve drinks here. So, we may have to come back later and find out what they got going on. And then... <laughs> yes... Tatooine does have its own Bureau of Tourism. Who knew? I certainly didn't. And then lastly, we have what looks like some sort of a power converter, maybe a water extractor out of the air. Who knows? So that's what we've got here in the cantina section. And the Mandalorian Mercs have got their costume club over here. And we even have a skeleton of a working R2-D2. I saw this guy running around the uh, convention floor yesterday. He's awesome. He's incredible. He's amazing. As well as some excellent... If these are not the official props, they are some of the best reproductions I've ever seen. These look totally amazing. And that is one scary looking Darth Vader helmet. I can almost hear him breathe. And as we exit the Star Wars area, we come into what I think has got to be the greatest Lego city I have ever seen. I don't quite know what to make of it, except that I think it is completely, totally awesome. I would love to see this thing in full operation. I have a feeling it does. And there's probably some switches that they need to turn on. You might have an operating train, possibly even some lights turn on, maybe even some moving cars, who knows. But I think this thing is absolutely incredible. So 
that's what we've got here going on at Phoenix Comic Con so far. We've got a lot more video to share with all of you, so uh, stay with us. Keep checking the SliceOfSciFi.com website and SliceOfSciFi.tv because you never know what's going to show up on our website. So this has been Raggington for Slice of Sci-Fi saying keep on slicing.